Tell me, what technique do you use for measuring radiation? I have always been fascinated with science ever since I was, I don't know, like four or five years old watching the Magic School Bus and Bill Nye the Science Guy. Ten-year-old Austin had a lot to learn. Little baby scientist Austin loved science in general and thought that he was going to be one of those mad scientists you see on TV and creating fantastic inventions that you would probably see on Star Trek. What I'm doing here at ADHS is not something that you would see filmed in like some superhero movie, but what I do on a small scale can end up affecting people on a large scale. Hi, I'm Austin Eckelmeyer. I am a public health scientist at the Arizona Department of Health Services, and I work in the Chemical Emergency Response Division. We are in the Division of Preparedness, so our job is to be prepared in case of a uh, chemical emergency, either accidental or intentional. In case of emergency, break the glass, we're here. We are going to help respond to whatever crisis is currently happening and try to mitigate the spread of this chemical incident. I'm also cross-trained in the food emergency response. With that, we might be looking more at chemicals such as opioids or pesticides that could be found in your food. I'm fairly skilled in micro manipulation, uh, micro meaning really small and manipulation meaning to move. So I can move small things with great precision. The skill set of being that precise and that careful comes in handy every day because of some of the chemicals that I work with and I don't want to make any errors. I got my PhD at Arizona State University. I spent about five and a half years getting my PhD and I got very well acquainted with how things work in academia, but I wanted to explore what something outside of academia would look like. And I knew that I wanted to end up sort of in the government sector. I enjoyed the work-life balance that the government provides. I also knew that I wanted to help make a difference in other people's lives. And so when I came across the position that I'm in right now as a public health scientist, I could accomplish both of those goals at once. And I've really enjoyed getting to work with my colleagues here at the Arizona Department of Health. Uh, an excellent group of people, all very skilled in what they do. So all of the expertise and skill sets that each of my coworkers brings really helps to create one greater lab. Me and my colleagues here at ADHS all have a passion to contribute to the greater good and using chemistry in order to accomplish that. The instruments that I have access to at the Arizona Department of Health Services are a wide range of instruments. I have wanted to work with these instruments since I was an undergrad. To be able to work with them now is just, it's pretty fulfilling. When I joined at ADHS, I didn't have almost any mass spec experience, and this is a mass spec lab. A mass spec lab, it's a laboratory that focuses on detection by mass spectrometry. So I was a little worried that I would come here and be completely out of my depths. But I quickly got rid of those ideas just from how helpful everyone is and how open and willing my supervisor is to send me to training opportunities and have training opportunities come to me. So when we receive a sample in the chemical emergency response department, for instance, it could be a blood sample. You just get a vial of blood. It's labeled with some kind of number but this one vial represents a human, a person, who's living in my community. And I'm never going to know who they are, by design. But knowing that what I'm doing directly affects that person, and directly affects their loved ones as well, it's a pretty fantastic feeling to know that I'm helping keep this community healthy. It's pretty cool to think about how what I'm doing right now can sort of start creating a roadmap for what our community looks like. Just knowing that what I'm doing contributes to the greater good of the community that I live in, uh, it feels really good at the end of the day. I enjoy coming into work and seeing my coworkers and kind of going about my daily tasks in order to be prepared for any emergency that might arise. Uh, the work-life balance is fantastic. I love being able to uh, go home at night and just enjoy myself and not worry about work. And I enjoy the challenges and learning opportunities 
that are present pretty much every day here. 